Sutherland Sports Marine in Sydney. We're here today to show you through the Nimbus 305 Coupe, which is on display seven days a week at our dealership on Sydney's northern beaches. Nimbus boats are built to a standard and not a price. And when you come and inspect this boat and have a look through it, you'll certainly see the difference with our competitors. The finish is certainly second to none. This particular boat, the length overall is 8.95 metres, 30 feet, uh, has a beam of 3.25 metres and uh, carries 250 litres of fuel, 150 litres of water. So a great weekender or go away and spend as much time as you like. You've got plenty of room and plenty of fuel and plenty of water on board. Um, what I'd like to show you now is a few of the features of the boat. Uh, you'll notice that this boat is fitted with the teak package, which is cockpit, transom, and right up through to the bow, which certainly enhances the finish of the boat. It comes standard with a diamond coat, uh, gel coat finish, which is equally as nice, but this just adds a touch of glass to the boat. It also has the fender package here. That you'll notice the fenders are all beautifully encased in stainless steel, easy access out of the way, no problem whatsoever, so you can, uh, easy accessible. We've got this nice teak fold away table here, which is standard with the boat, which will fold out fully for people sitting around, which you, which you can notice you can sit one, two, three, four people with ease here around the, around the cockpit table. Uh, a nice feature that it folds up out of the way, gives you a little bit more room. Uh, with some nice drink glass storage here. And you'll notice under the port side seating here, we have another locker where two LPG gas bottles are fitted. Uh, you can see one's tucked under there, but there's uh, two, a room for two, which uh, will give you ample gas on board. Also a nice rope and fender extra storage if required or additional storage. So that shuts down nicely. Got nice pockable clips on it there and this will just slide back in there nicely and she's all set up again now we've also got a nice lazarette here under the floor on the starboard side um, which is uh, extremely large to be quite honest uh, a lot of additional storage here uh, you notice the panel here that's an access to the motor if mechanics want to get into it, it's all fully enclosed, away from the engine, and uh, also the the manual battery switches are all located down here in the aft corner of the boat. But these are not needed to be accessed through here because they've got an automated system up in the helm area, which I'll show you shortly. Uh, you notice I've removed these two seats here. Um, this panel folds up. And you've actually got a manual bilge pump here, which is a great idea that Nimbus have thought of. Uh, if all else fails, you've got a manual system where it will pump out your bilge manually, which, which is an extra safety fitted feature, which I think is a, you know, a good idea. Okay, so while I've got that seating up, I'll show you how to access the uh, engine room. Um, so it's just two stainless steel blocks here. Just unbear them gently, and up she comes. And you'll notice we've got the D220 horsepower Volvo Penta fitted to this boat. Um, cruising speed anywhere between 10 and 18 knots, and wide open throttle at 22. Uh, you also notice we've got some lovely air extra storage here in the back. Uh, you can, you know, completely away from the motor uh, if need be. Uh, also, the emergency stop switch on the motor, uh, if, if anything went wrong at the helm, is easily accessible and just the button just here will shut the engine down immediately. Uh, you also notice this, this engine base got thick soundproofing right through it. Both sides, rear, aft sides, all beautifully um, dampened to keep the noise to an absolute minimum. Also, when you're in the cabin, with that door shut, it's very, very quiet. Also, this is your uh, sea strainer, uh, easy accessible. You can clean that out. Any sand, seaweed, so on and so forth. 
uh, you don't have to be bending down upside down uh, to try and get it this is your uh, uh, fuel filter easy access oil fill, oil dipstick just here uh, easy access again uh, if you're inclined to check your oil I'll show you how this goes back together that turns around that position this pulls down nicely here just push that gently across to the side that slides down uh, get your bottom push it sits on there and your back rest flips on there nicely now a good thing about this boat you'll notice that these cushions are easy taken in and taken out so after a, a day out or weekend you're going to have the boat tied up some period give them a light chamois down take them off put them inside again they're out they'll stay nice out of the sun out of the way okay another great feature uh, and probably what the boat's best known for along with the side sliding door is this large walk around here so if you follow me up here you'll notice plenty of room to walk two feet along here no problem whatsoever so you can get right up here put the ease up into the bow of the boat uh, you've got your automatic um, anchor switches there and operate with your feet also look at the size of the fleets here fantastic huge and also you've got a lovely big anchor locker uh, which you can hold a, a lot of chain and your anchors out of the way and a nice clean finish right through also you can have and there's an option a uh, sun pad fitted here uh, while we're up here on the bow you notice this the boat's got the full screen cover keeps the sun and the rays out of the boat uh, and keeps it nice and cool and, and reasonably dark inside also you notice this boat's got the twin sun roofs these are manually operated so no need to worry about opening and shutting just all done manually also you notice it's got two nice solar vents here that keep the cockpit the two stainless steel fittings there to keep the cockpit nice and cool during the summer uh, and some airflow through it and also it's got the solar package uh, fitted to this boat uh, which is charging directly all the time the sun is out notice it's got the spotlight uh, it's got the masthead horns and the white dome is the TV area now follow me into the cockpit um, you've got this lovely side opening helm door which is a really a terrific feature which you know enables you to be able to use this boat on your own pull up into the dock on the starboard side you've got a nice big fleet here again you can pull up throw some in a rope wrap it around and you don't have to get out and come back around all the time so this is lovely easy access And in actual fact, you can sit here with the door open all the time for extra ventilation. You know, really good feature. Um, uh, it just operates. Nice sliding rails. And it can lock in, in that position there. Just give you a little bit more if you don't want too much draft. Very nice, nice feature. Okay, so we're sitting here at the helm area of the Nimbus 305. You'll notice to our port side here, we've got a flip up TV um, which folds down nicely and gives you a nice uh, flat area if you like to put some maps or something along the lines or have it up in that area to watch the TV of course um, also your uh, fusion stereo system is located here along with some um, ports for computers mobile phones etc um, you also notice up the front here under the dash is a nice big piece of black perspex this is an anti-glare, keeps glare off the windshield uh, so when you're driving you're uh, good clear vision all the time and also you've got a nice compass fitted here in the dash uh, with two drink holders and a nice little panel there just to put some bits and pieces uh, you might require. Uh, the helm is uh, a simple layout but effective. Um, this is fitted with the 12 inch Simrad uh, GPS fish finder and has a digital gauge package fitted as well uh, there are options of course for a 16 inch that you can fit in here if you wanted something a bit larger this boat's also got autopilot as an option fitted and also has the Volvo engine management control uh, you'll notice this boat doesn't have a key for the ignition it's got a flob 
and all you do is just wave it over the uh, ignition area uh, and uh, you'll find it'll light up and so there's no, no, nothing to worry about keys. You see the Volvo Penta management system coming up now. Um, I'll just get up into the uh, driving position. Uh, this is uh, digital throttle by Volvo, so no cables whatsoever. Uh, be beautifully easily clicks in, neutral forward, neutral reverse. Um, great system, nice, clean, crisp. Also, you've got your trim tabs here, an easy reach. reach. Uh, you've got your spotlight operation here, which is up on the masthead. And you've got your bow thruster, stern thruster here. And that obviously the ignition system. Uh, all in all, good style, good laid out dash. And um, well thought out and simple. So we're still on the helm area here. And I thought I'd just show you under your, 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 where your feet um, are placed. You've got your your um, fire extinguisher and your breaker switches. Easy, a very easy access, and also your water gauge to tell you how much water's in the boat. Now these are the um, battery on/off switches that I was telling you about, so you don't need to get down into the bilge to operate them. They just click uh, shut like that, so that's off. And then when you come into the boat uh, to fire it up. You just push them or turn it the other way and that's how you turn your batteries on and off. Nice, nice easy system and very accessible. So that just closes down there nicely. You'll notice you've got all your CE rating um, placards down there under the helm and also you've got a nice little footrest here that folds down in that position. You can get up into the helm and roll back the sunshade and I've got the sun, the sun, sun roof open so you can stand on there gives you a bit extra height so you can look up out here when you're coming into a marina or in some tricky position you just want a wee bit more uh, vision so that folds back down out of the way simple as that and you've got your bolster here if you want to sit up a wee bit higher you can do and to be honest with you this is all very very comfortable and I feel like you're sitting in here, you could be quite easily sitting in a Range Rover or a Jaguar. You know, very, very comfortable um, the driving position. I, I, would, I would say I've driven a lot of boats over the years. This would be the best driving position I've, I've encountered. Now this boat is all set up with solar power. As mentioned, you've seen, I showed you the solar power on the roof. It all runs off 12 volt and LPG, so therefore you don't need a gen set. Uh, th 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 this, this obviously is a benefit because it's less to service, less fuel, uh, less money, um, and a very good safe system on board. This, being, this cooktop here, uh, a lot of people don't realize, but this is an LPG gas cooktop, latest from Sweden. A, a beautiful design with an extractor fan built in, along with a lovely a lovely oven um, and you also in here got a nice little thermostat so you can cook a chook or something like that with ease no problem at all very good system uh, this can be substituted if required with a microwave so you also lose the oven to keep the gas cooked on uh, under here we've got our, obviously our sinks we've got a small sink there and a large sink area there with nice covers the cover to give you a little bit more bench space if required it's all nice and flat the whole area also the driver's seat will fold away up when you're cooking or want an extra bit of extra space you can put that up out of the way uh, it gives you a little bit more area to use also you notice here's a 2 220 volt 240 volt plug um, that you can plug you know anything in you need to while you're on shore power um, a nice system uh, as well as you've got your blinds they just fold down there nicely like that uh, easy tracked up up out of the way got a nice light led overhead up here you'll notice we've got a uh, heater uh, this is a, a diesel heater uh, very very efficient works beautifully uh, you'll be quite surprised how often you have it on at night it really keeps the temperature of the boat beautifully also this is a gas detector uh, just keeps your eye on that lpg that's fitted that everything's under control as long as you've got that green light on we're good to go uh, these are your light fittings uh, on and off switches, nice, clean, tidy switching. 
um, all very, very clean and all very nice. Uh, you notice we've got the fridge uh, tucked away under the helm seat here. Uh, nice large 12 volt refrigerator. Um, plenty, pl plenty of room in there, matter of fact, it's uh, bigger than you think. Also, this sort of people people ask this is for hanging a tea towel or a cloth. Uh, good system as well, uh, along with a nice little fridge freezer under here as well. Uh, give you extra um, <coughs> refrigeration space. Uh, nice, 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 tidy system. Now, also under here, you got storage under this under the oven um, for anything you know required in the kitchen, uh, along with. Uh, Recycling bins, rubbish bins, good system from Nimbus. And you notice how well these uh, doors open and close are beautiful. Uh, the boat comes fully stocked with uh, the Nimbus um, cutlery and glasses, which is a is a nice touch. And easy shut drawers, uh, knife, forks and spoons, and a little bit more air under. The, here just to put some bits and pieces in uh, in the kitchen okay so we've apparently got the dinette set up as the double berth now th th this went up to be honest with you very easily and I'll show you how it comes down in a sec but I'll just show you look there's a lot of room in this berth I'm 176 centimetres and look, stack of room for two people, no, without, without a doubt, and, and very, very comfortable. Nice hard foam, um, but you know, good support. Um, I think it's uh, a, a, a really good setup, and it, e it is easy to put together. Some of these can be very difficult, but I'll show you how it goes away. So that one comes out, this one slots in there. And that one goes back as your backrest, just clips under here, under the rail, along the flat side, all good. Now this one lives down in the mid berth, so I'll just put that over here at the minute and just bring the table up. Pops up there, just tighten that nicely there and nice and tight so you can sit around the b berth how long that time you probably no more than 30 seconds to convert it back into a dinette i think it's absolutely perfect um and you can fold that table in that position get on a wee bit more room or keep it keep it closed uh, so you sit four people around here with total ease now another good benefit is this helm chair now believe it or not this will rock back and turn into this position so you can get up in here sit with the driver again two people can sit here with ease and you can you know put your tv up watch here or be up here when the driver's position uh, along with the driver so uh another, another great system and this works very very easily it's not heavy it's all done on hinges uh, very very simple to use either position, great system from Nimbus to give that extra bit of room in the dinette area. I think it's one of, again one of the key features of the boat. And I'll just show you how this side opening window works as well while we're up here. You know this is Australia builder's plate but it's the boat just here. And that just slides back and it closes like that. So you're sitting here, want a bit of fresh air, open that side driver's door, push that through, slides out of the way and it locks on this little pin here. Uh, very very nice, well thought of. Um, and this one you notice that you've got your sunroof, push that through, locks in nicely, unlock, pull back, clips in, locks in. Uh, you know it's got a nice locking clip here so, so it won't come forward when you're underway but to undo it just so I'll just put this back in this position and I'll show you got the nice blind here it goes down nicely uh, as well as the blind here so that's good blockage and you've also got the uh, nice curtain there that you can pull across as well and that goes just up in the up position and along with this one 
all the way. You've got a nice little book storage here, USB fitting there as well. And you'll notice this curtain will pull across here and just undo it. And uh, it, it clips in there as well. Easy to get at. Uh, so it give you a complete block out coverage. Uh, again, easy to use. Not too hard at all. Okay, so I'll show you how this um, entryway door works. Um, you've got two doors. You've got this one that obviously closes. Then you can open up this side so you can get in behind here uh, if you need to clean here behind the um, window or adjust this curtain or put this um, backrest on uh, a bit better. So that's a nice feature. Easy works. Just uh, handle there, push it back. Locked into place, that one slides back, dishes are done. Uh, I mentioned before this boat is fitted with an additional fridge, it is an option, and underneath there, uh, that's your access to the fridge, but obviously if the fridge wasn't there, uh, you'd have extra storage. There's a little bit of storage in that uh, pocket uh, with, with the fridge fitted. Uh, so if you come on down here, you've got two steps down in the cabin area. Uh, plenty of head height, I'm 176 centimetres. Uh, fit in here, no trouble whatsoever. And you can go around into the um, side berth here. Um, quite a large berth. Uh, if you come around, I'll show you in here. Again, easy access. Plenty of room for two people. Um, and you've got some nice little bit of storage in there. Keep some gear out of the way. Good access to lighting, lighting under here. You've got some lights here, reading lights, always. And if you, if you notice in here, you've got uh, another panel and behind there that's access into the bilge area and then into the side if the boys need to do anything in there so it's not storage. Uh, right, and so we can come out of here and we've got a nice storage hanging cupboard. Uh, you've got stuff to hang, you can hang your gears on here and put stuff away. A nice area up the top there. Um, not, not, not bad storage for a little 30 footer, um, quite adequate uh, for children. Also you've got a, a window open, it'll open up there, that porthole will open up nicely. You've got this curtain here uh, to keep it private. Uh, just unbox, pull it across here. So, uh, very nice, uh, simple but, but effective. So now we're down going into the, in the Ford State room. Uh, I've got it set up as a, a large V berth. Again, I'll, I'll show you the room in it. So, plenty of room here. The, obviously, this is the biggest berth in the boat, without a doubt. Got a nice little solar um, fan in here, just to keep it aired out all the time. You got window blinds, opening portholes, and dark out which is good, and you can open the hatch of course, get up into the bow there if you need to. You've got some reading lights there, there, and nice reading light under here. And also, you get some nice storage in here. Quite adequate, quite a lot of room in actual fact, uh, to put some gear for a weekend or week a week away. Um, I'll show you how it all folds away again. Uh, works quite well, thought out nicely. Nice so, bit off the bed here. Uh, so this comes out. Uh, it's got this infill. Can you, can you see? That pulls out. And that lifts up. And it stores up under here. There, so, like that. so then if you have it in this position you can still sleep here quite nicely um, and you've got plenty of room to stand up get changed 
into the bathroom through here which you know this bathroom to be honest with you is second to none uh, lovely huge uh, separate toilet shower uh, cubicle um, sorry the, the shower's in with the toilet but it blocks off from the uh, basin and um, it's got the electric freshwater toilet with um, adequate room Adequate headroom and again opening uh, vents, opening portholes, glasses, and you've got some storage in here for bits and pieces. And lift that up obviously for the toilet system, or leave it like that down when you're showering. Plenty of room in here. Uh, this all works nicely. And shower head here, vent. Um, good, nothing wrong with it. Key features for me of the Nimbus 305 are single engine, shaft drive, um, starboard side entry door, I enables you to drive the boat on your own or as a couple, and the comfort at the driving helm is second to none. Good all round appointed boat, put it at the top of your list, you won't be disappointed, great boat, look forward to seeing you. Thank you.